Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to do a deck review on the Blue Erdnays Smithback deck. This was a deck of cards that was released by the uh, Conjuring Arts Research Center a while back. And uh, here's here's what the box looks like. Nothing too special there. It does say Erdnays on the front, which is kind of cool. Uh, this deck comes in two different finishes. It comes in what they call the cambric finish, which is really similar to the air cushion finish that you see on the bicycle deck. Basically it means that the cards will have some texture to it. They'll have those tiny dimples. And then the deck also comes in what they call an ivory finish, which is very similar to the uh, smooth finish that you see on the Aladdin deck or uh, the Streamlines or the Aviators. Uh, basically it's a card that has an absolutely smooth surface. Okay, no texture whatsoever. I've played around with both finishes quite a bit and I tend to prefer the, the textured surface, the cambric or the air cushion. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure there are some of you out there who like like the smooth stuff. Um, this right here is indeed that cambric finish. Now, let me go over uh, just some of the extra cards that it comes with. The first is just an ad card for the website. And next we have a card that goes over just some of the history on the expert at the card table, the book, and uh, Erdnays, um, which is what this deck was inspired from. So, um, you know, it just gives you a little information there. Next, we have Jokers. Two identical Jokers. And these are some of the coolest Jokers I have seen, really. I love this image. You know, just this guy, you know, sitting at a table by himself, practicing with a deck of cards. You know, the, the expert at the card table. It makes sense. It's a really, really cool Joker. Very classy, very sophisticated. And... Um, the Ace of Spades is um, its just your standard B Ace of Spades. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that before. The rest of the faces are a bit different. You'll notice that the indexes, or the indices, they're just a bit smaller than your standard faces. Um, and I, I actually like that, first of all, because it makes uh, better looking fans. You see more of, the, of each pip in the fan. And then also just because it's different. I like it when things are a little bit different. Also, the uh, the faces of the court cards are uh, are different. They were designed by Dan White, who, uh, who also did the face design of the court cards on the split spade deck. So you'll notice that the king of spades is still Dave Lane. And um, a lot of these other images you'll also see from, from the split spade deck. So that's, that's the face. Let's talk about the back design. This is, uh, this is really interesting. So from a distance, you know, when I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of messy. Uh, I didn't think it looked very uh, aesthetically pleasing. When you bring it up close, you'll notice that all these different spots are actually um, images of hands manipulating a deck of cards. Okay, so this was influenced from the illustrations that are featured in the book, The Expert at the Card Table. And uh, that, that's why this is called the Smithback Deck. The, the illustrator from, from the book, his name was Marshall D. Smith. So this is kind of a, a tribute to him. And it's really cool to look at. Really cool images. The, I mean, these images were actually done by uh, Guy Hollingworth, who is a pretty popular magician from uh, the UK. Extremely talented guy. He also happens to be a really good illustrator. So he's the one who worked on this deck. And uh, it's cool up close from a distance. I'm not a big fan. Bring it closer, and I like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of split on that. But I should mention that this back design really does have some pretty cool features. Um, and what I mean by that is the deck. It's it's not really a bordered deck, and it's not really a borderless deck. It's kind of a hybrid between the two. So what that means is that this deck will help shade a lot of the gambling moves, like you know false deals or um, you know, maybe a pass just as a borderless deck would, okay, or push through false shuffles, that kind of thing. Um, at the same time, this deck will also hide face up cards in the middle of the deck, just the same way that a border deck would. So you get the best of both worlds here. It's, it's a really neat thing, it's very uh, versatile in that sense. So that's, that's really cool. I really like that aspect of the deck. Let's talk about the, uh, the feel of the deck, the handling. This is, a, this is a deck that was printed on um, B, B stock cards, which means that it's, 
it's a very thick. It's a very thick deck of cards. Um, probably the thickest deck of cards that I own. Um, very snappy, very durable. Um, but of course, that also means that you're going to need to break them in quite a bit before you can spring and shuffle comfortably. But you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you out there really like that that thick card. So that's that. Um, it's also a deck that's been cut traditionally, which um, basically it's it's similar to the way that the Richard Turner cards were cut. If if you're familiar with those. What it, what it means is basically it's going to be easier to pharaoh shuffle these cards. Okay, These cards are ridiculously easy to pharaoh. Um, first of all, because they're thick. Thick cards help with that. And because of the way that they were cut. So, um, you know, I mean, if you, if you practice the pharaoh shuffle enough, you'll be able to do it just fine with any deck of cards. But if you're struggling and you feel like you need a little edge, a little advantage, this deck will help. Okay? What else do I want to talk about? I think that covers pretty much everything. Um, you know, they're, they're sold out of this deck at, at the Conjuring Arts Research Center website, but you can still get them from uh, www.theoneyejack.com. I'll put a link in the description box for you to check out. And um, you can use the, the promo code uh, contest for 10% off your order. So you should definitely take advantage of that. And uh, that is the Blue Ernest Smith back deck. I hope that deck review helps, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.